Hello folks, welcome to the fourth demonstration video of our eShop project. Today I am going to talk about the sign-in remember B checkbox and the cookies associating with it. Ok, let's dive into the topic really quick, shall we? First, let's go to our web browser. Let's see how do our cookies work in action. So now we have to sign in. First I need to insert our email. Then our password. Don't forget, we have to keep our remember me checkbox checked to save those cookies. Let's click this sign in button to complete our sign in process. Okay, we are getting our success alert here. Okay, let's reload our sign in page. Let's click on this button to go to the sign in part. As you can see, our email field and our password field are already filled for us. This says our cookies were saved properly and are working properly. We can use this handy cookie inspector tool editing this cookie to see our saved cookies. So we can see our saved email and password cookies here. Ok now we can jump onto our coding part. So now I am here inside visual studio code. Let's check out our index.php file first. Now we need to carry the state of the remember checkbox to the javascript side. We are using ajax method to do this. So I am adding an id to our checkbox to do that. So you can see that added id here. Then as usual I am calling the sign in javascript function using the sign in button here. Let's go to our script.js file. So under this sign in javascript function I am grabbing the state of our remember me checkbox here. Then I am keeping it using a javascript variable for the ease of use. Then I am adding a new js form data from here. Then I am appending the checked state of our remember me checkbox into this form data. We are doing this because we need to carry that to the login process.php side. You can see the login process.php file here. Then we are using this XML HTTP request to send our request to the login process.php file. Then we are using this onReady state change to figure out the current state of our request. Then we are sending our request form to the login process.php file using the post method from here. Now let's go to our login process.php file. Now as you can see here I am grabbing the state of the remember me checkbox which is coming from the javascript side from here. Then I am keeping it as a variable for the ease of use. As you can see I started a session from the top of this php file to work with cookies. Now here on the bottom of this login process.php file, we are setting out our cookies. As you can see from this code part, we are only keeping the cookies when the checkbox is checked. True means that it is checked. We are keeping both of our email and password cookies only for one year, as you can see from here. Let's go back to index.php file to find out how we can fill out our input fields with those saved cookies. So as you can see I added the php script inside the sign in part of our index.php file. Then I created two variables inside the php script as cookie email and cookie password. Then I am giving saved cookie data inside the email cookie to the cookie email variable. After that I am giving the saved cookie data inside password cookie to the cookie password variable. So then from here I am getting the value from the cookie email variable to fill out the email address field. After that I am getting the value from the cookie password variable to fill out the password field. So people that's how the signing cookies are working. So that's all I have to demonstrate from this video. Let's wrap up this fourth part. Stay tuned for the fifth part. See ya.